Good day, grade tens. Welcome to our first lesson on Euclidean geometry. We're going to start by just revising some of the very basics of Euclidean geometry. So I'm going to go through this quite quickly. You should know this from grade eight and grade nine. Let's talk about lines and angles. First of all, I need to get a pen. Then, first of all, you will notice that any two lines, when they meet, they form an angle. So this year, B is an angle. In fact, we call this angle A, B, C. So when any two straight lines meet, they form an angle. Now, you get different types of angles. You have an acute angle. An acute angle is an angle made by two straight lines where the angle, the angle is less than 90 degrees in size. So if an angle is smaller than 90 degrees, then we say that this is a an acute angle. A right angle, a right angle is an angle that equals 90 degrees and we usually represent it with this little square here which shows that it's 90 degrees. We also say that these two lines are perpendicular. So two perpendicular lines, perpendicular lines make a right angle and that is when you have your angle is equal to 90 degrees. Next we have an obtuse angle. Now an obtuse angle is one that is bigger than 90 degrees but smaller than 180. So basically you've got an angle that looks like this. It's between two straight lines. So if you've got ABC, your angle ABC, ABC is going to be bigger than 90 degrees okay but it is smaller than 180 degrees so an obtuse angle is a wide angle that is bigger than 90 and smaller than 180 a straight angle well that's just really a straight line where if we had a dot here that angle there would equal how much well it equals 180 degrees so a straight angle equals 180 degrees Right, this should all be old news to you guys. I'm just making sure you know what I'm talking about when I talk about these things in future videos. Let's look at a reflex angle. Okay, reflex angle is a different, something slightly different. This is an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees. So a reflex angle is an angle that is bigger than 180 degrees adjacent angles. If I've got two lines and they cross, okay, so we've got A, B, C, D, and E. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. So for example, this angle here, we would say is adjacent to this angle here. They are next to each other. So adjacent angles are next to to each other. So in this case, other. So in this case, ABD, ABD is adjacent, adjacent next to angle EBA, EBA. Whereas we also get vertically opposite angles. So if you again draw two cross lines, which is supposed to be two straight lines, you've got A, B, C, D, and E. If you've got two straight lines, the angles that are opposite each other are called vertically opposite angles and they're equal. So these are the angles made by two straight lines crossing and your vertically opposite angles are always equal. They are always equal. All right. Supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. They add up to 180 degrees. So if for example I had a straight line and I had another line coming like this and this was A, that was B, this is C and this is D and I tell you that this is 60 degrees 
And I say to you, how big is ABD? ABD. I want to know how big ABD is. But ABC is a straight line. And the angles on the straight line are how much? They are 180 degrees. So therefore, 180 degrees minus my 60 degree, degrees is going to give me 120 degrees. So this angle here is going to be 120 degrees. And if someone has to say to me, how do you know this? I'm not going to go, oh, well, this angle is 60 degrees and that's all the straight line. I would just write supplementary, supplementary angles. And what that would mean is that someone who is reading this would look at this and go, oh, obviously then it's on a straight line and it adds up to 180 degrees with the other angle. Right, so that is the supplementary angles. Now let's look at complementary angles. Your complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So what we have is we'll have a right angle and we might have another line coming through like this. So this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. And again, if I tell you that this is 30 degrees, then we know that this angle here has to be equal to, so A, B, D would have to be equal to the whole angle size, which would be 90 minus just this little angle, which is 30 degrees which equals 60 degrees. And the reason we would give, because you always have to give reasons as to how you work things out when we talk about Euclidean geometry, and the reason we give is just that it's a complementary, complementary angle. And finally, a revolution. A revolution is basically, if I had to draw just your normal straight plane, if I start here and go all the way around, I have completed a full revolution. And a full revolution is always equal to 360 degrees. So when you see the word revolution, you are, we are talking 360 degrees. We've started, we've got back to where we started. Right, grade tens, that is it for your angles and your straight lines. Please make sure you know all the terminology so that when I use it in the future videos, you understand what I'm talking about. Have a great day. Bye.